I'm glad to report that our two officers have been treated at Bellevue Hospital and are in good condition at this time. These officers acted professionally and heroically this morning. They were alert on patrol and observed the suspect as he walked along 8th Avenue. They had been briefed at roll call, as you and the media had also become aware of the suspect who we're looking for in the photo that we had of him. As they approached him on the corner of West 37th Street at 8th Avenue, he violently attacked them, unprovoked, striking Officer O'Rourke with a hammer, which is believed to be the same weapon he used in Monday's attacks. These officers had no chance to call for assistance, but rather they reacted quickly and instinctively. Indeed, the whole incident that you will see took about three seconds from start to finish. During that, the Officer O'Rourke was attempting to call on her radio as she was being struck and fell to the ground. Her partner officer, making a literally split-second decision to save her life, shot the suspect, seriously wounding him. This incident that took place today all began uh, with the attacks that took place on Monday, May 11th. And I'm going to walk you through each of those attacks leading up to uh, today's incident. The first incident on Monday began at 1.45 in the afternoon, and it took place in Herald Square when a 20-year-old male was speaking with three females, and the suspect approached them and began to yell profanities, and then at which time he struck the male in the head with a hammer. The individual that was shot today and that's responsible for the four attacks that took place Monday is David Burreal. He's a 30-year-old individual. He suffers from paranoia and schizophrenia. And from what we're being told is when he doesn't take his medication, the condition becomes worse. He grew up in the Bronx, and his last location that he, he resided at was a mental health facility located in Upper Manhattan. He has eight prior arrests. Some of those arrests of note are...